surgery, right? No surgery needed. Nope. Hey, JC, uh, the, the last four plays, is that just the experience that the team has to go through to get it right? Or how do you I mean, it, yeah, I think everybody's been in big games like that. Even, even, you know, Baker's been in big games like that in college. I think, you know, eventually just someone needs to make a play. And, uh, you know, they, they made a play before we made a play. And, you know, it's a tough way to go out. Um, we, we thought we had them. Um, there was never, never a doubt in the first half that we still felt like we were, we were in it. Um, we just couldn't make that one last play to, to put us over the top. Hey, John Dorsey said Freddie's going to get an interview for the head coaching job. Mm -hmm. And this is a guy that you know was kind of off our radar until about nine weeks ago. You've been around him now. Do you think he's ready to be a head coach? Yeah, I mean, I, I just I play. You know, <laughs> I, I, I don't. I'm not, I'm not qualified to, to determine who can lead an organization. I think uh, someone who definitely is qualified is John Dorsey. Um, and I think the guys upstairs, there's no reason not to to trust whatever decision they make. I mean, they've. They've done, you know, what they've done in the, their time here, their short time here. Um, there's no reason not to believe in whatever direction they take this team. Have you seen some leadership qualities out of Kitchens that you like? Yeah, I mean, Freddie's a great guy. You know, we, we did a lot of good things with him. But again, I, I think that's something for, for John and the guys upstairs to, to wade through and figure out what the, what the best direction to go for this team is. JC, could you see a case being made, though, for the continuity of keeping what's been Pretty successful over eight games carrying forward into the next season. I mean, again, I think you you have to kind of step back, and I think that's what guys the guys upstairs are going to do, and they're going to look for the best thing for the next five, ten years of, of this team. I think that's that's what they're going to do, and again, I, I think they're the most qualified guys to make that determination. They've done a heck of a job getting us to this point right now. The turnaround we made from last year to this year, uh, and I think. Wherever they decide to put this team and, and move this team to is, you know, the best decision for this team. Did you just called uh, this a players' team in reference to, you know, no matter who the coach is, we have each other. Mm -hmm. How did you see that manifest itself the second half of the season? Yeah, I mean, I think we all bought in. Um, you know, when the change was made, you know, the team can really go one of two, you know, two one, one of two directions. And I think as players in this locker room, we decided that, you know, we weren't gonna. We weren't going to give in. We were going to give everything we got and do whatever we can to turn everything around. Um, and I think a lot of that comes with the guys we brought in, uh, older players, veteran players who have been on winning franchises. Um, you know, everybody kind of bought in, and the and the guys fought tooth and nail till the end uh, and gave everything we had. You, I mean, you've been in this uh, Monday after the season plenty of times. Mm -hmm. Does this feel a lot different though? Because everybody's so excited about the progress made mm -hmm. heading into next year, yet you don't have that coach, right? Know? You know what I mean? Is it a different dynamic? Here? Yeah, I mean it's always tough. I usually, uh, I usually kind of just decompress for the first couple of days after a season, and uh, everything kind of changes. No longer have a schedule. Things become a lot less regimented. I mean, you kind of just sit around and and kind of just reflect on the on the year. Um, but I think what what we did this last eight weeks, um, looking to next year, obviously there there is that excitement. I think you know the the guys in the locker room. The, everybody in the building, and I think the, the entire city understands what what's building here. Um, so there is that that feeling of progress uh, and that that feeling of looking forward to what's to come. Was this your best season on an individual on an individual basis? Uh, I I would say so. I think um, I think I was was happy with, with, with the way I played. Um, two years straight and not missing a snap um, uh, was my goal. Was to uh, continue to play every snap. Um, so that's that's a big one to check off the list. Um, but I think overall, I played pretty well. What did and you guys build as an offense? Um, what, what do you mean? Well, I mean, you can speak for your own group for your mm -hmm. line, I guess. But uh, what did you guys become good at as an offense? Uh, I mean, I think protecting the quarterback. Um, I think we, you know, that back half of the season, we really turned that around, kept Baker clean. Baker's a big part of that. The entire Unit's a big part of that. I mean, uh, backs, tight ends, everybody's involved in the protection unit. Uh, and I think that was a big part of it. Um, I think that's something I can speak to uh, being in that room. But that was that was a big thing from where we were the first half of the season, the second half of the season. Uh, we did a lot better job of keeping Baker clean. How much did he grow? 
I think Baker, I mean, again, it's, it's that rookie curve, and I think Baker picked things up extremely quickly. Um, and he did his part, getting the ball out, um, feeling the pressure in the pocket and moving away from it. Um, you know, that's, that's all things that help out the offensive line. Uh, and he's got a, you know, Baker does a good job of, of helping himself stay, stay clean. How impressive is it for him to set the touchdown record with only 13 starts? Right. I mean, Baker's going to be a really good player. Um, and he already is a really good player. Um, and I think everybody's looking forward to just seeing, you know, as the years progress, even just next year, you know, how much better he's going to keep getting year in and year out. Um, but what he's able to do this year uh, was extremely impressive. Uh, that's, like you said, to, to break a record playing less games than everybody else is, is quite the feat. Now that you're out of the boot, how challenging was it to make it through? Uh, it, it, it wasn't, wasn't easy. Um, but again, I think I, I went into every game with the thought that I wasn't going to miss a play. Uh, and then once, once you kind of rule that out, you just kind of find a way to, to make that a possibility. If you just say, I just got to find a way to keep playing, you'll, you'll find a way. Did it ever feel better or was it just? There, there, were, weeks, there were weeks where it got better um, and then you'd aggravate it. Like in Carolina and, and Cincy, there was a few, few times it got rolled up. But um, a lot of it was just, the, I give a lot of credit to the training room. Uh, they did a really good job of getting me as close close to 100 percent as they could each week, um, but it just ebbed and flows throughout the year. We'd stack a couple good games, and then you'd have a setback, and you'd kind of have to restart the clock. Um, but a few weeks, few weeks off, few weeks to rest, and then it'll, it'll be back to normal. Did you ever come close to saying like I need to take a couple weeks here? No, no. Just because you. Well, want to? right, wasn't gonna wasn't gonna miss any time. Freddie's opinion, uh, uh, looking at. Tough games on the road as an indicator of how a team is growing was that uh, at Houston you guys didn't handle it great. Mm. It got better at Denver. Did it uh, get better still at uh, Baltimore? And is that in your mind uh, an indicator of uh, how good the team is? Yeah, I mean, I think we uh, we didn't play well. I think two two games that stand out. We didn't play well. It was against the uh, against the Chargers and against uh, the Texans. Uh, we didn't play well enough to win that game. Um, but you know, the two other ones, Denver. Obviously, we go out and get a victory. It wasn't the wasn't the prettiest victory, but we got a victory. And then, you know, we had we had all the chances to to win one uh, last night, but uh, we just weren't able to make it. But I, I think, just as a whole, you look at those eight games. I think the the whole team took a, a giant step forward. I mean, you were uh, one of the great quarterbacks in Green Bay. Like, what does Baker need to do from year one to year two? Like everybody says, man, what a great year he's had. But plenty of quarterbacks have had good first years and not sustain that. So. Mm -hmm. Where are you looking for him to kind of improve on, or what can he do in the offseason to not have a second? Yeah, I mean, I think experience is a big part, and I think that's just something he, you gain as you play. Um, I haven't played quarterback since uh, junior year of high school, so uh, I, I can't really speak too much to you know fundamentals, what he needs to do. But uh, I, I think Baker just getting used to the NFL game and, and the experience he got this year, I think will just continue to propel him forward. Uh, and he'll do everything he needs to do in the offseason, you know, fundamentally and uh, and watching film and things like that, that I know if he's that type of guy that will be able to be prepared when he comes back.